discussion, we're going to go ahead and I'm assuming that you're ready to watch the demonstration because we're not doing it today, we will be doing it tomorrow. First thing you have, everything in place. Now what I'm going to pass around is, so you can see in the classroom, a grass frog that's been preserved. Again, do not open this container, it will not be pretty. We also have two frogs that desiccated or dried out, mummified because they got dried out. You can look at them carefully. Do not squeeze them because they are fragile. They're very dry like jerky, they can break. I would not suggest touching them on your bare hands because again, they probably have some sort of bacteria. Here I have put together a model of a frog and we can actually, Sam put it together for us, open it up and look at the organs inside. So those of you who really don't want to touch the frog organs, but you want to touch the frog organs, I have this guy. All right. Okay, let's see if I can put him back together. Maybe not. <laughs> Here you go, Sam. Here's your masterpiece. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So now that it's dissection day, I also have this bag. Because the dissection day is going to take two days, we're going to need to make sure that our frogs go back into the bag at the end. Gloves on, making sure I have no slices in my gloves, we're good. All right, so I'm going to go ahead, take my dissection pan over to where the frogs are. And what I'm going to do is carefully, because this is going to smell, if anyone has a problem with the smell, I do have the peppermint oil. It does help out a little bit. You will take a frog and you grab a frog very gently. Please do not bash it or squeeze it or anything. Frogs are frogs, okay? So this is, Matthew, can you come closer, please? This is a frog that has had latex injected into it. You see the red, that's where there was artery and blue is where there was vein. So we're gonna go ahead and put our frog down. Maybe I'll put him this way, I don't know. Looks like this is a good way. He's very stiff because he's gone through rigor mortis, but before we do the body, we're actually going to look into the mouth. Before we even go into the mouth, make sure you close up the bag it's in. Before you go into the mouth, we're going to go ahead and look at observations. We're gonna observe the skin. What does it look like? Observe the skin. Can you get a close-up on that? Observe the skin. What does it look like? I want you to write something down about that. Go ahead. Write it down on number one of your external anatomy packet. Okay, observe the skin. You'll be able to add to this when you get to touch it with the gloves on. With what on? The gloves well on. Excellent, well done. Okay, so then we're gonna go ahead and look at the eyes. If you look at the eyes very closely, you can see they look smashed and a little odd, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna be able to look closer later. All right, um, looked at this ventral surface, we looked at the anterior, okay, so ventral, dorsal, anteriors towards the head, posteriors towards the tail. That's why we say sit down on your posterior. So on your vocabulary review, you're gonna have anterior, posterior, dorsal, and ventral. Again, dorsals to the head, posteriors to the butt, or the backside, the gluteus maximus, and then dorsals the back, like a dorsal fin on a dolphin, and then anterior, uh, yeah. <laughs> ventral is towards the belly ventral is towards the belly. So we're going to go ahead, take a close look at this. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to open up the jaw. Now this is going to be a little bit difficult. Okay, a lot more than a little bit difficult. But if you can, get your probe in there. Again, probe, not the scalpel. Get your probe in there. And just open up the jaw. Okay? It's going to be stiff because, again, it is dead. It's gone through rigor mortis. And what you can do is you can feel or palpitate inside the jaw and see. You look inside the jaw, kind of chill out, see what's going on in here. The tongue. Yep, there is a tongue. So what we're going to do now is we're going to carefully slit along the jawline. Carefully. You're going to feel the bone kind of pop a little bit. 
and then slit along the jawline. I would prefer you not to cut towards yourself, but to cut away. And notice how my fingers are very far away. Okay, now that I've opened it up, I'm actually able to, or cut it up, I'm actually able to open up a little bit more. Now we can see the tongue. The tongue itself starts to flip out. All right, I think that might be one of your questions. So at this point, when it is time, make sure that you have, you have completed number two and number three. All right, this should be all of what we do on Wednesday is the jaw. Thursday, we will be able to go in and cut through the body. All right, so now what I need you to do now that you've watched the video, I need you to talk with your shoulder partner. What is going to be the hardest thing to do? What will be the easiest thing to do? Who is going to draw? Who is going to write? Because you are doing this in table groups. Remember, looking for which organs you're going to research in your next project. We're doing body systems. We're starting with the frog, hopefully ending up with the human. All right, thank you very much. I'll give you back to me.